Well, science doesn't have to be something, something they just <laughs> learned in the classroom. Right. Tina's standing by with more about a book that's walking families through some fun experiments. Hi, I know. We already learned all about that. The egg and that the was fun. vinegar and all that. Yeah. We like this, Liz. Liz Heineke out of Minneapolis, molecular biologist turned stay-at-home mom, and obviously playing with stuff in the pantry. Absolutely. And I have some fun projects that can help kids understand, like, how your body fights viruses. Okay. So coronaviruses, which we are all familiar with, were discovered by a woman named June Almeida. And kids can make little coronavirus particles out of Play-Doh by just making a ball of Play-Doh and sticking little, a different color spike, uh, spike proteins on them to represent the spikes. Okay. And the spikes on coronaviruses are what help them enter our cells. They attach to our cells and then they can get in our cells, make more copies of themselves, right? Okay. So there are a couple ways our body fights these viruses. One way is to make, and this is in my book, Y-shaped molecules called antibodies. And as you know, if you get immunized, if you get vaccinated against a virus like coronaviruses, your body makes lots and lots of these antibodies specifically programmed to recognize coronaviruses. And they can actually make coronavirus particles all clumped together, which makes it really hard for the viruses to get into your cells. Okay. Okay, another cool thing you can, kids can do, and this is always a fun project, you mix two parts cornstarch with one part water. We are going to make models of phagocytes, which are white blood cells in our body that can gobble things like viral particles up. But if you mix together two parts cornstarch, one part water, you make this cool non-Newtonian fluid, and you can use it to fill up balloons. You can use a funnel or like a cup, and this is our model white blood cell. And okay. phagocytosis literally means like to eat or to gobble up. So if you take your little viral particles you made, you put them up next to a white blood cell, you can see how the white blood cell can completely engulf ah. the viral particle. And then the white blood cells in our body do this when they re uh, recognize coronavirus particles. And then they actually gobble it up, they kill the virus, and they spit it back out and present it on the outside of their cells so that it helps the immune system get boosted even further. So. Wow. That's some fun ways kids can do science. I love that. Balloons, Play-Doh, learn yeah. about coronaviruses. Yes, uh, for things that you can ha you use out of your pantry. So your book is coming out on May 11th. Where can people get it? People can get it anywhere books are sold. And it's really fun because it combines the stories of 25 biologists okay. with projects related to their work. So kids can learn stories and then get their hands into some science. You look so enthusiastic and excited. I love it. I am. I, I love it. Science. We love learning you. from you. You got to teach us some more things in the future. All right. So, absolutely. Liz Thanks Heineke, for me on. thank you so much. Appreciate it. Congratulations on your book. We're thank learning. You. I love this. Yeah. That Normally, we don't learn anything during the show. <laughs> Today, we did. Today, we did. Biology is so cool. Mm -hmm. Love that. Thanks, T. Mm -hmm.